Welcome to today's session on native authentication for Microsoft Entra external ID. My name is Jolene Kirui. I'm a senior cloud security advocate at Microsoft. And with me here is Koshik and Danilo. Over to you, Koshik. Hi, my name is Koshik and I'm product manager in Microsoft Identity. Before we dive into how native authentication can help, let's understand what is native authentication. Authentication experiences that are natively integrated into application without delegating to browsers. This means that the user interface is hosted on the client application and the application look and feel is controlled in the app code using the same technologies that was used to create the app. This ensures full control of user experience. If we compare this with other browser delegated methods, such as system browser to authenticate, while browser delegation helps reduce attack vectors and support SSO, it is not for everyone. The look and feel is controlled by customization capabilities offered by identity provider. It is difficult to match the browser UI to the application's look and feel. The redirection can be disruptive to the experience and can be slow to load. Native authentication allows you to create seamless experiences on your applications. You have full control of user interface and the experience. You decide and develop how the app looks, what backgrounds you need, where the logo goes, and all the details that make your application look yours. With flexibility to choose between different authentication methods, you can create authentication experiences that suits your users. Decide on the layout that you want, keep it single screen, or split it into multiple screens. With native authentication, you can achieve the pixel perfect experience that you want to provide your users. And these are done on your application code. This means as a developer, you use the language of your choice and update when you need. We are offering native authentication via unified Microsoft authentication library. We are extending the existing MCL to include native authentication capabilities. The MCL offered for Android and iOS will enable developers to create applications in Kotlin, Swift, Java, and Objective-C. The underlying native APIs will be publicly documented and available to create mobile applications as well, just in case the language and framework of your choice is different. Native authentication for mobile is right now generally available, and it's available for both passwordless and with password authentication scenarios. So the passwordless can be achieved with email OTP, and it can be used to create sign up and sign in experiences. Similarly, password authentication can be used for creating sign up, sign in, you also have the flexibility to collect user attributes and self-service password reset fully native. With this, I would like to now hand over to Danilo, who will then walk us through a demo. Thanks, Kaushik. And Danilo, a software engineer at Microsoft Identity. Today, we will use the mobile SDK to sign up a user using username and password. A first step, we will uh, try to use an email that has been used uh, in, the, in the past. Type in a password, the name, Click in next, and this alert is shown, saying that what the issue is. If we submit a new email that does not be used for a past sign up, click in next, we can navigate to a new screen. At this point, an email is sent containing an OTP code that has to be used for email verification. If we tap in the wrong code, an alert will be shown saying what the issue is. When the correct code is submitted, the SNAP flow is completed. Let's have a look at the code now. As first thing, the application developer will need to create a native out public kind application instance using this JSON file. Inside this JSON file, the user will need to provide certain information like client ID, and uh, tenant subdomain. Those information can be collected from the Azure portal, but before to do that, the user will need to create an application using the external AD tenant. After that, those information are provided and an instance of the native out of public and application is created. Let's see how we can create a user using the Android SDK. The application developer, we will need to, pro to collect the email password and name from the UI and use the SDK method to sign up for validating those information. Let's try to create a user using an email that uh, 
was already used in the past for creating another user. As you can see, a specific SDK result is returned. The power of the SDK may become apparent now. As you can see, the, the, the power of this SDK is that the application developer can build the UI around the different uh, result that the SDK can help. Let's try at this time to use a, an email that has not be used in the, in the past. We can now navigate to a new uh, screen where we can collect uh, the code from the UI and use the submit code for validating this code. At this point, when we call the, the submit code from the SDK, different results can be returned from the SDK. Let's try to submit an invalid code. Click in verify. As you can see, a dedicated SDK error is returned. The submit code made this call from a state object, which represents the current state of the SDK. Through this architecture, some methods are available only when the SDK insert is in certain state. For example, in this case, the state is code required and the submit code method is available. Submitting the correct code will result in the synapse result complete and we can consider the synapse flow completed. Thanks for your attention. Thank you folks for taking the time to watch this video and the demo. Uh, this capability is generally available and we would love for you to go ahead and try it out. Uh, this is a very exciting capability that many of our developers are loving. Uh, you can find uh, the link in the banner, uh, aka MS Native Auth. This is where you'll find everything, all the documentation that you need to try it out. Uh, this is currently available for Android and iOS. And uh, do feel free to drop us any feedback you have uh, on native underscore feedback at microsoft.com. And we'd love to hear more about these capabilities and collaborate to build it further. Thank you so much.